Good evening everyone. This is Vrishali. In today's session, I am giving you some important question bank on object oriented programming using C++ subject. Hope so. This question bank will be helpful for your examination purpose. Let's start the session. In this channel, you got a complete point wise easy explanation, practical demo and question bank of following subjects. You can refer this question bank for your examination purpose. Please like and share these videos with your friends so that will be helpful for everyone and subscribe the channel so you will get the notification regarding my new upcoming videos. Next. Now the first thing is here in this question bank video all topics and question based on second year computer engineering syllabus. This is not an official question bank. These are the mostly asked question in your previous year question papers. I am providing this question bank because for your reference for your study and marks analysis purpose. Clear? Next. Now the first topic is fundamentals of OOP. Here the first question is what is generic programming? How is it implemented in C++ for 6 marks? Here you have to explain a generic programming concept with example. Next compare procedure oriented programming versus object oriented programming for 6 marks. Here you have to mention 6 to 7 difference with example for 6 marks. Next explain features of object oriented programming for 4 to 6 marks. What is class and object difference between class and object for 4 marks. Here first you need to define class and object after that mention their difference minimum 5 to 6 points with example. Next explain the following terms like data abstraction, data encapsulation and information hiding for 6 marks. Here you have to explain any two terms or all the three terms. The next question is what is inline function explain with suitable program for 6 marks. Here you have to mention C++ program of inline function. Next question is what are the friend function and static functions with example for 6 marks. What are the primitive data types and user defined data types for 4 marks. Here you have to explain those data types with examples. The next question is they will ask any one question from this like question number 9. What do you mean by constructor and destructor? Write a C++ program of copy constructor for 8 marks. Or next question is write a program which uses default constructor, parameterized constructor and destructor. See, constructor is one of the most important topic for your examination purpose. So I am suggesting you, you should prepare all types of constructor and one constructor program compulsorily. Because C++ constructor program is compulsory question in your paper. So prepare this. Next. Now the next topic is inheritance and pointer. On inheritance, they will ask any one question from this three question. The first question is write a short note on types of inheritance. Here you have to explain all three types of inheritance like single, multiple and hierarchical inheritance with example for eight marks. Or they will ask a specific one like what is multiple inheritance? What is ambiguity in multiple inheritance with example for 8 marks? Or they will ask this question like discuss the way in which inheritance promotes software use, save time during the program development and help prevent errors. Here you have to explain need of inheritance, why we use inheritance, their functionality, their features for 7 marks. So they will ask any one question from this. The next question is explain public, private and protected keywords using program for 8 marks. I am suggesting you, you should prepare any short program where public, private and protected keywords are used. Next explain virtual base class and abstract class with example for 6 marks. Next explain pointer to variable and pointer to function with suitable example for 7 marks. See, pointer is also one of the important topic. I am suggesting you. You should prepare all the pointer concept with example. In object oriented programming subject example is compulsory. So you should prepare every topic with example. Okay. Next. What is the concept of function pointer? Give example in C++ for 6 marks. Then explain the use of this pointer. Mention their example for 6 marks. So all these pointer questions are compulsory. They will ask any pointer concept with example. Okay. So you should prepare pointer example like pointer C++ program compulsorily. 
the next question is based on memory allocation and deallocation so they will ask any one question from this like question number 9 compare and contrast memory allocation and deallocation using new and delete keywords for 7 marks or they will ask what is dynamic memory allocation and explain their use in c++ with suitable example for 7 marks so i am suggesting you you should prepare memory allocation and deallocation this concept with example clear next the next important topic is polymorphism on this particular topic they will ask any one question from this like the first question is compare between early binding and late binding with example here you have to mention the 6 to 7 difference point with example for 7 marks and next difference is between compile time polymorphism and run time polymorphism for 7 marks so you should prepare this two difference compulsorily with example the next question is based on overloading concept so from question number 3 4 and 5 they will ask any one question either they will ask the question based on function overloading or operator overloading so i am suggesting you you should prepare overloading concept completely the first question is what is function overloading explain with suitable example for 6 marks or how function overloading and function templates are related to each other state valid example to justify your answer so from this question number 3 and 4 they will ask any one question and the most important question is operator overloading what is operator overloading using friend function show how to overload increment operator assume suitable class data member and member function for 8 marks so i am suggesting you you should compulsory prepare operator overloading c++ program this is a compulsory question next one is explain what is type casting like implicit type casting explicit type casting with example for 8 marks from question number 7 and 8 they will ask any one question like what is virtual function and how is it different from function overriding for 6 marks or they will ask explain difference between virtual function and virtual table with example for 6 marks so i am suggesting you from polymorphism topic you should prepare complete overloading concept and this differences with example and c++ overloading program compulsorily clear next the next topic is files and stream The first question is what is stream explain types of streams available in C++ for 7 marks here you have to first mention the definition of stream list their types and explain their types with examples second question is explain error handling in file input output with suitable program for 6 marks the next question is they will ask any one question from question number 3 and 4 either they will ask a program or explain the term program like write a program using open eof function that is end of file get line member function to open and read file content line by line for 8 marks this is a c program of open and read file okay the next question is explain the following file handling function like open get get line seek g tell g so you should prepare either a complete program like open and read file c++ program or you should prepare this all the functions file handling functions compulsorily with example for 8 marks these are the compulsory questions the next question is explain the concept of file pointers what are the various functions to manipulate file pointers explain with example for 8 marks then what are the c in and c out explain io stream for 6 marks and the, this is also important question like explain command line arguments in c++ write a program for the same for 7 marks So from this unit, I am suggesting you you should prepare all the file handling functions and file handling terms completely. Clear? Next. The next important unit is exception handling and templates. Exception handling is the most important topic. Okay. So on this topic, from question number one, two, and three, they will ask any one question compulsory. The first question is what is exception? How is an exception handled in C++ for six marks? The second question is explain exception handling mechanism in C++. Write a program in C++ to handle divide by zero exceptions. And third question is what is exception handling? Explain how exception handle in case of constructor and destructor with example for eight marks. So I am suggesting you you should prepare uh, exception handling topic with example divide by zero. So you should compulsory prepare this program 
C++ program of divide by zero exception. Okay, because they will ask any question related to exception handling and mention with example. So on with example, you should mention this program divide by zero program. Okay, next. So uh, here the programming question is there on the basis of exception handling, like uh, create a user defined exception to check whether your employee exists in your data structure and throw exception if name is not in the employee list. Use the catch block to print an appropriate message on the screen. So they will ask a specific program on this exception handling for eight marks. The next topic is templates. On this topic, the first question is explain need of template, class template, function template with example for seven marks. Or they will ask explain the class template using multiple parameters write a program in C++ for seven marks. So they will ask any one question from this. And uh, the last question is a particular programming question, like write a template function that return the average of all the elements of array. The arguments to the function should be the array name, uh, the size of the array. In main function, exercise the function with array of type integer, long, double, and clear for eight marks. So I'm suggesting you from this particular topic, First, you should prepare all the exception handling mechanism and C++ divide by zero exception program compulsorily. And second thing is on template topic, you should prepare all the basic concepts of template like their need, their class, their functions, etc. with example. Clear? Next. The next, uh, the last unit is standard template library that is STL. So from this particular topic, they will ask uh, any one question from this three question. Like question number one is what is container? List the container classes in C++. Explain any of one day using program for seven marks. Second question, what is the purpose of container algorithms and iterators in STL? Third question is what is STL? List different types of STL containers. So I'm suggesting you, you should prepare this STL topic with their containers and with their basic concepts, okay? So these are the compulsory questions. They will ask any one question from this. The next and important question is this. Explain forward, bidirectional and random access iterators with suitable example for seven marks. So you should compulsory prepare this question, okay? The next question number five, six, seven and eight. From this four question, they will ask any one question. Like write a program to illustrate STL hip sort for seven marks or what is stack? How is it implemented using STL for seven marks? or write a program to implement map using STL for seven marks or explain STL for list and vectors for seven marks. So they will ask any one uh, question from this four question. And this last question is a compulsory question. I'm suggesting you, you should prepare this last question compulsorily. Like what is STL? Why should C++ programmer be interested in STL? What is the design philosophy of STL? And what are the major components of STL for eight marks? Okay, so from this unit, I'm suggesting you, you should prepare complete STL topic like STL container, STL components, and uh, some uh, basic concepts of STL for eight marks. Clear? Next. Hope so. These questions will be helpful for everyone. All the best. Thank you.